Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Sorry, my hair's really annoying me today. I feel like that bit of fringe looks really flicky. <laughs> How are we all? I just was in the mood for a really chatty sit down video because I feel like my vlogs recently have been so hectic, short, snippy snappy, like I've not really sat down and had a chat. So this is what I'm going to do today. I mean, it, I would say it's a drive with me, but I've basically driven everywhere and got all the food and now we're just going to sit. I am sat on one of the busiest streets in Manchester and I don't know how I feel if people can watch me, if people are going to watch me like drink and eat this i don't really know but anyway two things i really wanted to try to say in this vlog uh in this video was if anyone is on manchester tiktok it's this sandwich shop called bada bing apparently it used to be here and then it closed down and then it's reopened i don't know but it's in northern quarter okay i've got it it resembles the biggest sandwich i've ever seen in my whole life and I'm literally so excited. If anyone knows where like Fremant is and Turtle Bay, it's like on that road. One of my friends the other day, she got went to go and get one and she put it on her story and it looked like the most insane sandwich you've ever seen in your life. So I was like, I need one. And I've seen it on TikTok. So I went to go get one. It's literally the same size as my whole being. And then I also really wanted to try Mel's Maple Matcha from Blank Street. Uh, I'm a huge Melissa Wardrobe fan. I love her. Anything she says, I'm influenced by. Anything she does, I just think she's like one of the coolest girls. And I love following her. I love all... I just love her content and her... I just love her, basically. So she's brought out a match with Blank Street, which is maple and cinnamon. And I've asked loads of questions on my Instagram about masters, postgrad, catch up, Q and A. So we're gonna sit here and answer it in front of the whole uh, of Manchester already. But yeah, let me try this first. Whoa! -ho! The only way I can describe it is that's like autumn in a cup. That's like super sweet. It just tastes like, if you put maple syrup in a matcha, basically it's what it tastes like with a hint of cinnamon. Wow. I love that. I really love that. That is so autumnal. Autumnal. That is so autumnal. I'm obsessed with that. Oh my god. It's like, if you like your matcha, super, super sweet, and sometimes the vanilla doesn't do it for you, I would get this, because this is like super sweet with a hint of cinnamon. So, 10 out of 10 for Melissa. Anyway, let me show you the sandwich before we get into questions. But I'm on my third week of my master's course, which is actually crazy that it's week three, and I've just finished week three. Next week's week four. How is it week four? How is it for the month? Like, I really do feel like when you're at uni, the, f the time just flies because each week is like numbered and like all of a sudden you're on week six and you're like what the fuck has just happened let me unwrap my firstborn child okay let's see this oh, oh my fucking god i don't know how i'm supposed to eat this but it looks insane a uh, muffaletta and it was £11.50 and I think it's got ham, cheese, salami, olives and like some sort of sriracha mayo in there. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <gasps> How the hell am I going to bite this? It smells insane my whole car. I need one of those like tray plates things that like TikTokers use. This is literally going to feed me for about fucking all week. Right? Let's take half. Have I got a big gob? I'm not too sure if this is going to fit around my gob. I have to see. By the way, I must say, the service in there was insane. I walked in, ordered. They had my order ready in about three or four minutes. I Then I walked straight out. Like, I wasn't even gone from my car. Then more than ten minutes. Like, it was so fast. Amazing. Anyway, I'm trying to, like... Oh. oh my god, silence in the car. Fucking hell. Oh my god. 
How am I gonna eat that pie? Look, it's like fucking oozing out. Oh my god. If you don't like olives, you're not gonna like this one. I can't really taste the cheese in it. Apparently there's provolone cheese. I can't really taste that. It's just very meaty with a hint of like sriracha mayo and olives. But it's delicious. It actually fits in my mouth quite well. But yeah, if you're going with your friend, you could just share a full one because there's no way I could eat two halves of these. That's insane. But look at that cross section. I'm gonna try and get this right. I feel like you've watched me drink and talked enough. Let's answer some questions. Oh, I just got a notification saying I've got a package at my flat, which is fun. By the way, you all asked so many questions. I was very overwhelmed. Um, and I love that, like, they were mostly education-based, which I love. Like, I love the interest in the course and the uni and, like, I just love it. Okay, the first one is what sort of masters are you doing i'm doing a history masters so i did three years of my undergrad of history and then i had a year kind of just like off working doing my youtube and then now i'm back for my fourth year and i've stayed at the university of manchester purely because i love the uni i love the campus the campus is gorgeous I continue to live up here because i just loved it and i just thought you know what I think the first year of my like undergrad uni, because it was in lockdown and all of it was online, I felt like I was robbed of a year on campus, like making friends, just being in the library, just being like amongst it. I felt like I was robbed of that year. So I always said in my undergrad, like, I feel like I'm like, oh, another year. Like I should have done like a year out or something and like got traveled abroad or whatever. But because it was COVID, they didn't really offer many options. So I always said like, I just, I'm, I've got another year in me. I always, always said that. Like, even when the degree ended, I was like, oh, I could easily just do another year. Um, and this is what I'm going to, this is what I'm doing. So, and I love it. And obviously, the first day back felt so normal. It felt like the whole year hadn't even passed. It really spaced me out because I was like, oh my God, it feels like I've never left. Like, it was the weirdest feeling. But literally, as soon as I stepped back on campus in the library, I was so happy just felt so normal and i just i just loved it i just loved it and i love being back and i love my classes i love the library i love the campus so i'm just like i'm just really happy i am really happy to be getting back into it but yeah i'm doing history so it's just like a general history ma and then you get to pick what modules you're doing so i've got three modules no yeah, I've got three modules this semester. Yeah, I've got three modules. I've got war and conflict, which is basically just like war module, just like focusing on different wars. It's not so much military history. It's, it's more like the war's impact on social and cultural history, like people's history, gender history in relation to different wars. So really interesting. My second one is modern British history, which is my biggest module um and i love that i love modern history it kind of covers everything right now we, we did today british empire it's really interesting like the great Ex exhibition in 1851 like that was great and then my last one is american history it's basically just called race power and gender in the american south and i picked up a couple of american history modules throughout my undergrad and the guy that runs the course he is phenomenal he is the most phenomenal lecturer i've ever had and he was running this module so i was like fuck it you know what i'm gonna take another american history because i do find it really really interesting and it's just fascinating american history is fascinating because it really shows how everything is today and i that's the part of history that i love so i'm doing those modules this semester um and they're going really well i was originally on the module called cultural history which is basically just like the theory behind history like why history is important like different theorists in history and like it wasn't it was too technical for me i like more actually learning about substance of history instead of like the theory behind it so i dropped that and i swapped it with american history and i'm really happy and i'm in three days a week so it's really manageable i've got two days off and it's great and everything's in the morning so i kind of go in in the morning and then kind of hang around go to the library have some lunch on campus oh and then go home hey Hello. Look at this sandwich. <gasps> wow. Do you like that? Mm. I got it. I'm filming a little like mukbang in the car right now. 
Where is that from? It's called Bada Bing in Northern Quarter. Mm, Bada Bing. It's, Yum. Look, it's literally the best sandwich ever. And there's two of these. Wow. So I can, oh, it's got meat in it. You can't have it. Okay, well, as long as you're at mine for seven o'clock. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Is that, is that, is you doing that? Chim was so jealous of my sandwich. I don't know if it really goes with the maple matchy. Oh, that's so good. Fuck, that's really good. I'm going to say I like it more than the blueberry one. Like this. This is going to take off all my lip liner. By the end of this video, I'm going to have nothing on my lips. Someone asked, is it a step up from undergrad? I would say so. They give you more readings every week. It's like you are being taught stuff, but it's more like of a general discussion seminar group. And I think everyone's still warming up. Everyone's a bit quiet. Everyone's a bit shy. So am I. Like, I fucking can't barely speak so I'm actually anxious. Um... So I think everyone's starting to warm up, but yeah, it's more like group participation than like you're just being stood, you're just sat there like taking notes. It's not, you don't have lectures, it's just three hour seminars at a time. Obviously you have a break, but they're like quite intense classes and like you've got to be really prepped for it because obviously it's all talking, it's all discussion. So if you haven't done your shit, you're not going to be able to add anything to the class if that makes sense so it's like you want to do the work so you've actually got stuff to participate or there's literally no point in going but yeah the step up i've not felt it too harshly because that's what i was worried about um but most of the readings like the authors i've read before like some of the readings are a tiny bit more complex i'd say and just a little bit longer um but there's nothing drastically like crazy different the modules are more more deeper research than just like oh the american civil war well it started in this year and then this happened and this happened it's got more depth to it which i like because everything i kind of you like understand most things on the surface like british empire like you kind of have background knowledge of that already and then the masters just gives you like deeper meanings and yeah, deeper meanings to it. And like, kind of broadens your horizon of each topic. Someone said, how do you keep on top of work? How do you balance your time at uni? To be fair, this is something I'm still kind of warming up to because it's only been week three. But because most of my stuff are in, is in the morning and I get two days off, I kind of see the days I'm in uni as like a full uni day. Like, I will stay on campus and I'll go to the library after. I will like do my uni stuff on campus instead of taking it home with me because i feel like in my undergrad i used to just like literally skirt off campus and i used to be like no i'm going home and have to like bring all the uni stuff home but it's nice now i get to do the uni stuff on campus get all my readings done and then when i go home it's more like home time like i'm going out with my friends me and maddie are making dinner like this is my time to like shoot a picture or like edit a youtube video so like when i'm at home i don't i have to do a little bit of work obviously i'm not like fucking superhuman um but most of the things for uni i try and leave to actually do at uni and then on my days off like i might just do a little bit of uni work in the morning go to the gym and then i kind of just use them for social days or like just social time like i know if i'm off on a tuesday let's say i'll like see someone for a coffee that day and i'll go out for dinner so i kind of really i'm really am um, trying to get into my days on and days off i'm really that's like a really good structure for me it's only been week three so i'm still trying to figure it out but i think i am coming to some sort of structure of like balancing uni life with social life because it is intense someone said what are your plans for after uni are you going to do a phd are you going to get a job in history like what's your plan the plan is i don't know i've never had a plan with my life really i've never had a plan i've had a vague rough idea but i've never really planned it to a t and that's just the way i like to do it i just i'm not too sure there is a presentation for phd research like in the university of manchester in a couple of weeks so i might just go along and see but it is four years and i don't know if i'd do this year and then kind of if i was gonna progress my studies if i'd want a change of scenery if i'd want to like do a phd in like london let's say or like abroad i don't i don't know if after this year i'm gonna 
want to continue studying here if that makes sense because i do love it but i don't know maybe it's sometimes just good to have a change i don't know i don't even know if a phd is for me because then you become a doctor i would like dr lily bill is alive oh that is so i'm sorry that is amazing so like you know in friends when ross is like I'm Dr. Ross Geller. Yes, yeah, because he has a PhD. He's not actually like a medical doctor. That's just like his prefix and the start of his name. So I'd be like, Dr. Lydia Bellazello. Dr. Lydia. I'd be like, I'm a doctor, doctor. Like, you know, when you fill out forms online and it's like Mr., Mrs., like all that miss, and there's a doctor one, I'd have to put the doctor one. So I don't know. I don't know if that's the way I want to go. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. But, you know, I would love to get a job in the history field. I feel like this year is for really kind of figuring out if I'm going to want to continue it after my master's. Because after the master's, I, I want to do something with it in terms of history. Because that's why I kind of felt sad last year. Because I wasn't using my history and I wasn't, like, using that part of my brain. I feel like after this year, I'm just going to feel the same. And I'm not going to want to just, like, give it up and just, like, not do anything with it who's texting me i'm gonna want to do do something with it so that's just that's just my year of figuring it out if i want to get a job at like a museum or continue the history research and become an actual historian write a book there's so many different things that you can do in history which is why i love it um so yeah we're gonna figure it out it's gonna be exciting oh i think i am such a slurp for a sandwich i love a sandwich like in la there's this place called croft off rodeo drive they do the thickest turkey and cheese like toasted sourdough ciabatta with lettuce and mayo oh my god that sandwich i dream about so to find a good sandwich shop in manchester i'm like over the moon i want to go and try every single flavor someone said just want to see day in the life tiktoks and study motivation me too i think i've used these two three weeks to sort of warm up figure out my schedule and then now i'm gonna start doing more content around that like i just did like a little day in the life vlog uh, which i'll post on my tiktok i'm just like filming a bit more on campus because i am a bit more confident with getting the camera out i'm gonna try and do more like study with me little tiktoks and youtube videos so yeah anything you like to see please comment down below because you know, I have been off my study content stuff for a year now. So anything you want to see, just comment down below or literally just message me in. Because I, I want some new ideas. Maddie said, favourite thing about living with my best friend. I'm living with Maddie for another year. Which is like the best news ever. I feel like every year we've renewed the flat. It's been like, yay, another year of living in Manchester with my best friend. Like it's the best feeling ever. And this new flat is got the best vibes beautiful light be best view we love our rooms like we love our bathrooms like this flat radiates such good energy so i have a good feeling about this year so i'm really happy to be living with maddie again this is literally our fourth year living together um and it's gone by like that it's literally gone by like that and i said even like we when we get husbands i was like i'm gonna have to live next to you i, I can't there can't not be a time in my life where i don't live with her i feel like that would no, that would just upset me anyway. But we're having the best time. Maddie just handed in her day, so she's finished her masters. So Maddie is a free lady, and I'm just getting started. So, but I'm so proud of her for finishing her masters because I can see all the hard work she put into it, and I can't believe that's going to be me next year. Like the roles are going to be reversed. It's crazy. So far, our own chapters together. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah. Someone said, "How old is everyone on your masters?" I'm 24. I'm worried I will feel too old. I'm 24 as well. To be fair, I feel like most people on my course have had the three years, had a year off, and then come back, or like had like two years off. But everyone's like roughly the same age as me. There's a couple of um, there's a couple of like older students. Um, but yeah, it's a nice mix actually. It's a really nice mix of like a little bit younger and a little bit older. It's a nice group and. Yeah, I like the people on my course. They're actually really nice. So, also, I just had a bite and I got a big bite of cheese. So, I feel like the cheese was on this side and not so much at the top. Um, but yeah, makes it like the cheese makes it 10 times better. I thought we we're gonna have a little life update. Just in general, how I'm doing. I'm doing great. I feel way happier than I did this month, than this time last year. I don't know, I just feel 
way happier just with every aspect of my life um yeah i'm in a really like nice place and i just want to continue doing whatever makes me happy every single day basically that's my life goal is to make myself happy every single day people have been asking if i've been dating or got a boyfriend um i haven't got a boyfriend but i date here and there it's it's fun i'm just having fun basically and i'm not really looking for a boyfriend i just i kind of got so used to doing my own thing, going wherever I want, doing whatever I want then. Factoring someone else in, I think would be a shock at this point in my life. Uh, but you know, never say never. Never say never. Tonight I'm actually off to see Chinsia for the weekend and then it's Maddie's birthday on Monday. So we're celebrating Tash, Meg and Maddie in London on Saturday. So I've got like a full weekend of celebrations. Thursday we go out for dinner. Friday we're celebrating Chinsia's belated birthday. And then Saturday is Maddie, Meg's and Tash's birthday. So. It's birth, we've got a birthday filled weekend and I'm so excited. I ordered Chin her birthday present. I got her ballet tickets to see the ballet in Manchester and I made sure to buy them in Manchester. She has to come see me. So I think we're gonna go to that new Louis restaurant beforehand. Um, and then I got her some really cute PJs. Maddie got me some Matilda Jerf dupe PJs. Um, so basically I just asked Maddie for the link because I bought Chinsy of them as well because she was on FaceTime to me. She's like, what are these pajamas? I love them. And I was like, I'm going to get you them for your birthday, hun. So I've got those two and then some little bits here and there. And I've also got her and Sophia a very special present for the tour, which I'm going to show you in the London vlog. But this gorgeous girl called EMJ Prince on Etsy, I found her on Instagram as well, has done prints of all the girls' dresses at, at every tour date. So she sent me all of them and I'm so excited to give them to the girls because then they can put them up in their studio and it's good. just like a really nice memory. I should have ordered some extra ones for like my flat as well. I'm really excited for the weekend and obviously that's going to be in a separate vlog. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, we've got gorgeous plans excited for the weekend i always love a weekend in london and that means i can go to joe the juice because i have a slight obsession since i went to liverpool and then cheshire oaks which both have uh joe and the juices i'm like why does manchester not have one that is one of life's greatest mysteries but anyway i feel like i've rambled a lot and you've watched me eat and drink a lot and i feel a bit i feel a bit full i'm supposed to go to the gym after this so i feel like i need a little rest and then in case i throw up at the gym thank you so much for watching everyone i really enjoy these little catch-ups we have and it really feels like a therapy session for me uh, but i love you all and i'll see you in the next vlog oh by the way thank you for all the support on the masters all your love all your questions i just love that i can take you along for this journey and it just means everything to me that you guys are interested in what i learn um but yeah love you all and i'll see you in the next video